Today we're going to use some Bowles Geneva. Not a very common liquor to use, but it comes out very nicely in this drink. And it's warm. Yes, that too. Welcome to Combat Cocktails. I'm Derek. Come in. Whoa! That's Ian. I talk sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to make a cocktail called the Dutch Apple. Not to be confused with the Dutch oven. And we're using one of Gin's uh, Early ancestors. Ancestors. It's uh, Geneva. Gin. Geneva. Geneva, yeah. Oh, that's weird. We went to a gym history, uh, gym history, gin history class at one of the Tales episodes, and we learned about the sordid history of gin in London. Yep. It was interesting. Bathtub gin. And this Two is ounces not, of Geneva. This is not gin. This is not bathtub gin. This is what comes before. This is a barley wine, I believe, right? This is before right? with gin a, was cheap and sordid. Right. Now, this is still a, a juniper base. You're just going to put it all in the mug, by it's the way. It's a lot stronger. Oh, you want to know what it is? Hey, this is the recipe. Yeah. It's two ounces of Geneva, half ounce of honey syrup, one to two dashes of Angostura bitters. For that, that's, that's oh, two. Easy. This honey is to and work with. two ounces of hot apple cider with a garnish of a cinnamon stick. It's a lot now, like a toddy. To we did two things ahead of time that you didn't see on camera. First one, I made um, apple cider warm. Secondly, that's actually pretty easy. You can figure it out. The second one was the honey syrup. Video right here if you want to know how to make a honey syrup. But I'll explain it to you if you don't have time to watch videos and support me. Anyway, so what you do is you take your honey, you bring some water to it, and it, it loosens it up so it's not so thick as honey. Yes. And you can it becomes more usable. Is it diluted a little bit? Sure. But honey's pretty freaking sweet. So just add a little bit more if you really need to. Syrup is a dilution of that sappy... Right. Syrup like honey. So it's not a bad thing. So if you're making a honey syrup, you're making it so that you can work with it. Right. You could also use like a Baron Jaeger. This is going to be a, a this is one of our sponsors on this liqueur. episode, but yeah. one of them, uh, which is a honey liqueur, is going to bring the honey. If you like honey and you like bourbon, they also have yeah, oh, honey and bourbon. Bring it together. I remember having Baron Jaeger when I was a junior in high school. Oh. We went to Europe for a, 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 a sponsor. Uh, yeah. It, was, it wasn't free, it wasn't a class trip, but we got to pay to go to Europe yeah. with, as a bunch of us, and we could drink, so I had some Barry Eager. That was my first experience with that, which was nice. Did you like it? Ooh, I did. What then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then I liked everything, too. I like it still. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I like it, too, but I just want, when, I was curious. When, nice when you're 16, yeah. every booze is a good booze. Right. Yeah, yeah. but sometimes it's, it could be strong if you have Yeah, but early. you don't admit it. You're like, oh, that was good. <laughs> yeah, I had a drink like that that I did admit, but that's a different story. Produce, executive producer down below is Matt Bolt. Thank you. You can go to patreon.com slash cmc to become a s sponsor, if you will, of the show. You give us your money every month, small amount, and it keeps things it keeps the lights on. And if it, you do it, it enough, I might be sending an envelope full of cash because that's never guaranteed. Yeah, it's not going to be good. But if you want to send an envelope try. of I mean, cash, yeah, try. here's Feel the free. problem. I have a second camera. That's usually where you see Ian doing all the work. I don't have enough Patreon subscribers right now to be able to get it fixed. So... We only have two cameras at the moment. I hope that one was working on that one. Um, I hope so. This is tasty. That is kind of where the Patreon stuff tends to go. Also, mm. this was another submission from John Spikes. He's in our live chat, of course. And he sent me the URL to foodwine.com. Um, I think he sent this. And it says it's by Carrie Jones, whoever Carrie Jones is. I'm, I appreciate you, Carrie. The great thing about this is that Geneva is a very strong flavor in liquor. This it hones it down so much, I think, with the addition of the heat and the yep. cider, and the honey kind of rounds it out a bit because mm -hmm. honey is a very strong flavor. It really tones down that Geneva and gives it a the very barley warm... Flavor. This is a winter drink. This is a really good winter drink. The the, the thing that is kind of strange is what this... The, the I think it's the, the, the barley or whatever. I think that's their base, right? Um, I can't remember. The, right. Yeah, malted, malted, malted barley. So what that, I think, for some reason, what that's doing to me is I'm getting a moonshine-like flavor. yeah. yeah. A little but bit. You also get that sweetness because this, this does Not have a sweetness to it. Yeah. That kind of lingers a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not much, but it's there. But there's also honey. But, it, I mean, but this has a unique sweetness. You know yeah. what I mean? That I think I still get. There's a even bit. a little bitterness in here. Oh, that might be maybe the bitters. I don't know. It could be the fact the there's alcohol and, and hot drink coming together. Mm. It's basically a, another form of a toddy. Is this a mix? I don't need it. Is that what you're asking? <gasps> Is this from a mix? This is, is this the powdered profits? <laughs> no, it's not a mix. Okay. Well, they, oh yeah, they do make mix, don't they? Yeah, yeah you can get the powdered chemical packets. Uh, yeah, inside. you mix it with hot water. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know if that's. I didn't want to ask out loud, but so he's since it's <laughs> not, it's okay. I guess. This, this mic can hear you digesting. It's probably gonna be a little oh, like hell. Oh, sorry, people. Um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> folks. Sorry. No, there is. Yeah, you're right. There is a mix. I remember those. Yeah. But this is not. 
one of those mixes. This is just, I bought it today. Is the cider heated up? It's fresh heated up. I did heat it up in my way. That's uh, one step away from being hipster. Mm. (laughs) Oh, ghetto. Curated. Yeah. It's good stuff. Curated. Uh, (laughs) So, thanks, John, for the submission. Thanks, Matthew, for being a Patreon patron um, and for Ian for making the drink. The other thing... These like these bar tools and stuff and these bitters, you can get those at AwesomeDrinks.com. Yes. Use coupon code MARY20, save 20% mm-hmm. off at AwesomeDrinks.com. If you don't need any Awesome Drinks gear right now because you're like, I got all the cocktail gear, Derek. I just saw your newsletter. I bought a bunch of stuff with there's your last coupon code. There's bitters. There's, right. there's syrups. There's... And if you've consumed, if you have it all and you haven't used it all yet, just go to uh, Steam and, and buy my video game. It's and called Dungeon Rustlers. You can go get the stuff and you can make the drinks along with us. What you could do is go to Austin Drinks, drop by there, get yourself some gear, make some cocktails while you play our game, and, and watch the show at the same time. It's a pretty high-paced game, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. You better so, drink and get some cocktails that you can, like... <laughs> yeah, that's... Between levels. Yeah, between levels. Yeah. There you go. It, it is a little bit fast. So, that being said, sidebar, you can either click one of those videos, like this video, subscribe to the video, do all... Just, you know what? There's a screen. Click someplace in it. Yeah, immerse yourself in the, the world that is Common Man Cocktails. <laughs> That'll make Derek very happy. I cannot possibly trump that. No. So, we're teaching you how to drink.